Welcome to Compline on Ash Wednesday in 2021. Let's just take a moment as we come to our Heavenly Father to consider our day, maybe to put away those things that we just like a bit of peace from and just to put ourselves in the frame of mind where our minds are open and our hearts are eager to hear what our Heavenly Father says. Calm me, O oh Lord, as you stilled the storm. Still me, O oh Lord, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold me, Lord, in your peace. Father, bless the work that is done and the work that is to be. Father, bless the servant that I am and the servant that I will be. Thou Lord and God of power, shield and sustain me this night. I will lie down this night with God and God will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with Christ and Christ will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with the Spirit and the Spirit will lie down with me. God and Christ and the Spirit be lying down with me. Something to think about on this Ash Wednesday. Dust we are, to dust we shall return. Yet even dust can flame to life a star and ashes be reborn after they burn. It may seem a bit strange to start Lent with an austere reminder. Dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Yet this reminds us what the coming joy of Easter is all about. To understand the beauty of the solution we must first know the deep despair of the problem. And one problem with all of us is that we are frail, mortal creatures who must die someday, decomposing, suffering a rotting return to the dust. Apart from Christ, death is a hopeless thing of utmost horror. The end of every joy we have ever known. The other problem with us is that doing evil comes so naturally. Lies and hate and envies and lusts are so easily becoming the foundation and fabric of our lives. And we count ourselves good if only the inside is blackened and rotted by them, but the outside looks shiny. So Ash Wednesday is a sobering call to turn from evil and death and embrace the hope, goodness and life found only in Jesus. Because of the death and resurrection that we'll celebrate again in 40 days, this is a time of expectation, as potent as Advent, maybe more so, because the urgency and brokenness of death come home to us first. Now we know our utter need for the saving and life that we can find in Christ Jesus.
let's have a moment of quiet and then a prayer just to think and consider as we are now in that first day of Lent. Lord, you are our present help in trouble. Come revive, redeem, restore. In our darkness, come as light. In our sadness, come as joy. In our troubles, come as peace. In our weakness, come as strength. Come, Lord, to our aid. Revive, redeem, restore us, O oh Lord. Open our eyes to your presence. Open our minds to your grace. Open our lips to your praises. Open our lives to your healing and be found among us. Amen. The peace of God be over me. To shelter me. Under me. To uphold me. About me. To protect me. Behind me. To direct me ever with me to save me. The peace of all peace be mine this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night and God bless you. Thank you for joining me tonight. Come again and join me tomorrow. Please stay safe and take care.